Welcome to this Getting Started with AppSmith course. This is a series of tutorials especially designed to help you get the most of building custom internal tools and business applications using AppSmith. In this course, we'll build together a to-do app that will show you the fundamentals of building custom apps using AppSmith. And we're going to cover concepts such as building and styling the UI of your applications using pre-built widgets. We'll take a look at how to write custom JavaScript to add interactivity into your applications. And lastly, we'll take a look at how to add data persistence to your applications using the local AppSmith store, using REST and GraphQL APIs, and also connecting directly to a host of databases. Now, let's take a look at the application we're going to build together in this course. This is a to-do app built and designed on AppSmith. It's a beautiful looking to-do app. As you can see on the dashboard, we have a list of to-dos, and we can go in to add a new to-do item by using the input scene at the top of the application. So for instance, I can add in a new item saying, walk the dog. And you can see that we have that item added to the list and displayed below in the application. Now, we can actually go in to check a to-do item as completed by clicking on that item and clicking one more time is going to uncheck that item. One lovely feature of this app is that we can also edit to-dos. So we can use the edit icon to edit a to-do and I can change the object of this to-do from dog to cat. I can also delete a to-do item I no longer need on the app by using the delete icon. Now, the best part of building with AppSmith is that applications built are shareable. So you can use the share feature to make an application accessible to your teammates or coworkers. So I can go on to use the share feature. I'm going to click on the share icon and mark this application as public. And I can go on to copy the share URL and have it sent across to people I want to have access to this app. That's all we'll be building together in this course. We've put together a handy list of resources to help you as you go along taking this course. Linked below this video is a playlist to the entire course series to help you find other videos in this series. I'm also going to be having linked below a GitHub repository to the completed to-do application just in case you might need to take a look at it. And lastly, I have a link below to a book in the community portal having code samples used throughout this course. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Awesome. In the next video, we'll take a look at using some of these resources and afterward, we'll dive into building this application together. See you in the next video.